Hi, today I wanted to show you how I made this tie front top, which was loosely inspired by Sandy Lang. I gotta be honest, this was spawned from a failure. I initially wanted to make the Miu Miu ultra cropped sweater layered with button down situation that you can see here. I know a lot of people were trying to make this and I was seeing nobody like hemming the sweater or hemming the shirt so that they wouldn't fray after the first wash. So I wanted to show how to do that. Unfortunately, the sweater was like too tight and the, the collar just didn't fit and it just didn't work out, but I didn't want to be wasteful. I had this rest of the shirt, so I decided to use it. I also do have another DIY coming up that involves cutting and hemming a sweater so that it doesn't fray. So we'll still get that covered. But for today's DIY, I just decided to take the rest of that dress shirt that I had already cut the collar off of and turn it into this like wide neck little top. I'm saying it's inspired by Sandy Lang because that's what I was thinking of when I did these bows. There's a runway piece, which I'll show here, that has the bows down the front. As I was working on this, I realized my color choice and the bows too, it's giving slightly hospital gown. Maybe that's just because I just was at the doctor's office this week and had to wear one of these and then I put this on and I was like, oh. But I think it's still cute. I think you could definitely add maybe some like frill or lace detail to like the cuffs or around the collar here to feminize it a little bit, make it a little less hospital gown. But I think it turned out pretty cute as is. I like the concept and it was really simple to do. This seems like a common item that people would have in their closet that's easy to upcycle. So I hope you like this DIY and let's get into it. So I started by laying out my shirt, which I did not cut the collar off of carefully whatsoever. If you're starting with a shirt that is completely intact, then you can just do this right the first time. Uh, but I'm just measuring each side to make sure that it's kind of an even scoop neck situation here. Next, I am removing the buttons with a seam ripper. Once the buttons were removed, I just folded in each side of the shirt here where the buttonholes were and the buttons were and just pinning them down and then I will run a seam down to secure those in place. Next I'm taking my new favorite thing, which is bias tape, and I am clipping it in place all around the collar opening and around the bottom hem, and then I will just do a top stitch to secure that. My mom found me a huge lot of vintage bias tape at an estate sale and it is so useful. I just wanted to show you how you can fold in the end of it so that you don't end up with fraying and then just kind of tuck that in and then you're able to just put it around any seam, any armhole, collar. It's really great stuff.
And finally, I decided to put some on the cuffs as well, so I'm just evening those out, and then I will follow the same application methods that I just used on the collar and hem. Now that all my bias tape is stitched, I am going to measure where I want to place the bows down the front of the shirt. So I measured down an inch from the top of the collar and an inch up from the hem, and then marked three additional spots uh, evenly placed in between those two top and bottom markings. Mark the same place on the other side, and then I am taking some ribbon and determining how big I want the bows to be in order to decide how long each strip of ribbon needs to be. I am cutting the ribbon on an angle, but I would also recommend using some fray check or super glue on the ends of it so that they don't fray. And then I'm just using that first piece of ribbon that I cut to measure four more pieces. Also, you should cut these pieces in half before you start putting them on one side of the shirt. I forgot to do that, but I'll figure it out eventually. So I'm just clipping these pieces of ribbon into place where my markings were. And then here's where I remembered I needed to cut these in half so that I would have ribbons to attach to the other side as well. So I'm just folding them in half and cutting them again on a diagonal. I placed all those ribbons that I cut on the other side of the shirt and then I just stitched down each side. Finally, I just added this little folded pleat situation and stitched it to make the shirt fit a little better as the back was a bit too wide. 